Facebook, what's going on? Missed you guys. Took a little time off. Um, not gonna lie, it was, uh, it was being attacked by the enemy. Yeah, he was getting to my head, filling my head full of thoughts. And it all kind of started when I um, started looking into the worldly events. As you all know, that is very, 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 very negative right now. There is nothing positive about what's going on around the world. The world. Not just the United States. The world. It's... With that being said, that's exactly why we need to watch what we do. We need to watch what we look at. We need to watch what we listen to. Because that's a perfect opportunity for the enemy to get into our heads. Um, which, like I told you guys before in another video, that uh, that's how the enemy likes to attack me, is through my head. So I decided to click on numerous amounts of feeds of what people share and what you know, what's going on with, um, all this Black Lives Matters, which they do. Um, um, and then the Trump and then the cops and the, I mean, the list goes on and on and on guys. It's just, it's crazy. And the enemy started to attack me through my mind. He was like, um, basically making me feel like he was just attacking me. We'll just put it that way. And he was getting to me pretty much. So uh, with that being said, I, I said enough was enough. Uh, I put down uh, uh, the social media feeds. The It's not only just the feeds and stuff. It's what people think and what people are saying on Facebook nowadays. It's negative. It's negative, 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 negative. Let's be positive, people. Let's get the positivity back. Please, let's get the positivity back. If somebody's bothering you and upsetting you let's not blast it on facebook let's let's pray for them like i've said before and try to do the best that we can to get through there's negativity all over the place we need to be the positive people in people's life we need to speak life we need to encourage one another we need to uplift somebody if somebody's having a bad day give it ear to listen to but then try to encourage them don't say i know how you feel you know don't do that it just try to be like, I'm here for you, you know, I, I love you, and slip that Jesus loves you up in there, because Jesus does love them and care very much for all of us, and he just wants the best, but uh, with that being said, uh, I don't know if you guys out there has got an encouraging song that you listen to that just snaps and just speaks to your self and your soul. Mine is Lions by Skillet. I encourage you all to pop on that song, Google it, Lions by Skillet. And then, then Google the lyrics and sing the lyrics with it. It's so inspirational. It's so, um, it's that it's where it's at. I was jamming that and I declared over my life that if we're going to stand, we stand as giants. And if we're going to walk, we walk as lions. I'm not going to let the enemy win. I'm not going to let the enemy in. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. He's not going to get over me. He doesn't have power over me. My father is much bigger and much stronger than him. And he's got me. He's got me. So all I got to do is ask and I shall receive. And I did. And I'm back. He got me down just a little bit. Just a little bit all up in my feelings. But it's over. It's over. And, uh, and I want you guys to do the same. If you're feeling all down and like you feel like the enemy is got you down, stand. Stand up like a giant. And just declare victory in your life. Um, that wasn't what I was going to talk to you guys about, though. But I just felt the need to say that. Um, with some encouraging uh, words from some people out there. And man, you... I just want you all to know, and you know who you are, that has speak, spoken life into me when I was down. Um, you're an inspiration to me. I love you guys so, so much. Um, you guys have uplifted me in my down times, and I appreciate that so, 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 so much. I'm not perfect, like I said, but I strive to be. 
And it's hard. It's hard. Um, the enemy knows how to attack us. He knows how to get us at our weakest points in our life. But we have to ask the Father. We have to declare it. And the Lord will send some people into our lives to encourage us, to bring us up. That's what he does. He doesn't want us down. And don't let the enemy get you down because he will. He knows your weak spots, friends. And don't let people speak life into you. Let you know, don't let the enemy get to you because the Father has so many things in store for you, in store for me, in store for all of us if we just have faith. We got to activate that faith. And once that faith is activated, the Lord is like, oh, yeah. He will pour blessings upon blessings upon blessings. And that's what I'm going to talk to you today about. Um, I'm not going to keep you too long. I know it's been a while. I could probably talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. It's such a beautiful day, guys. Oh, my goodness. If you guys are feeling down and depressed and in yourself, just I recommend stop everything you're thinking about. Clear your mind and go outside into the presence of the Lord in this beautiful, beautiful weather that he has blessed us with. I know yesterday was a hot one. Boy, I was sweating when I woke up. I was like, what? Did he even cool off? I feel like I got hotter overnight. But with that being said, he has blessed us and he's going to continue to bless us with beautiful days. Just go out there and get in his presence and be like, Father, I surrender. I love you. Please help me because that's what we need. We need. He wants us to act. Activate that faith. Believe that he will because he can and he will. He would just, he'll wipe it all away. Like I said, it may not be right away, but have that faith. My God's got you. Our God has got you. It's got me too. So with that being said, um, we're going to talk about uh, delaying our blessings. Speaking of delaying, as you can see, my arm is still naked. Yeah, my uh, tattoo guy had to delay. Um, he wasn't feeling too good. Hopefully he doesn't have that COVID, um, a corona, whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, yeah, he had to reschedule, so I'm going to do it next Tuesday. Which is the day before my daughter's sweet 16. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited for my son. I'm so excited for all of my kids. Um, I just love them to death. I love them to pieces. But uh, uh, my daughter's about to turn 16. I'm so excited. I, am, I get to spend the weekend with her. I'm thinking about going to pick up my other daughter. Um, so, yeah. Maybe just spend some quality time with the girls. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to maybe think that I might do. Yeah. But anyways, um, I reminisced a little while back, and uh, um, I love taking memory lane. Um, I just like thinking about where I've screwed up in life. <laughs> yeah, it's something to think about, right? No. Anyways, um, I was I was thinking about my one of my jobs that I've had for like over twelve years, and then like all the mistakes that I made throughout that job, and where my four hundred one k would be right now, and all types of good stuff you know everybody wants that 401k they want that future um what happens if you die you ain't got a 401k then you know so um we do need a 401k though i ain't gonna lie we do so uh, i recommend getting one safe 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 because retirement if we get there is gonna be here before we know it um so uh i was thinking about that job and how uh the Lord had positioned me into this job. Like I, I started this job back in 2002 and I think I quit this job off and on, off and on, off and on. I was there back there. I think four times, maybe three, definite three, maybe four times um, that I was at this job and I knew this job pretty well. Uh, this job was close to home, very close to home. I had bought my first home, started my family and then I started getting pride pride start to take over um i started to um lose that weight that i had throughout my many years that made me uh, i guess unattractive so to speak um which friends we should not judge a person by what they look like because yeah just don't do it it's not even cool i could touch bait i can put that on another thing because i can get into that and yeah i won't stop because i have so much to talk about about that but uh, I let pride get to me, and then I ended up losing my family, losing my house, losing my job, and going to jail. Yeah, all that. Part of my testimony, but you can look into that if you'd like to. It's on my page. Keep searching for it, though, because it's per way back. Um, so, uh, yeah, I let pride take over. And then, you know, um, I went back to that job of 
the Lord gave me another chance and I was doing good and doing good and went back to my old ways once again, got back into the world. And he he was blessing me through this and then um, opportunity came about and um, basically long story short, um, I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I was one of the top people there. Like I, I could have been, if I would have stuck there right now, I would have been number one. I would have been in charge, not in in charge, but in charge of the, the all the presses and stuff like that. If, if you guys know where I used to work, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I could have been in charge. I could have been one of the head people there if I would have stuck it in. I could have had probably over $125,000 in my 401k. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's, I mean, that's a decent amount to me. Uh, you know, I could have been well off, but that's not where the Lord wanted me to be, obviously, because I wouldn't be here right now talking to you guys for one. I wouldn't be where I'm at in life um, talking to you guys for two. Um, and for three, the Lord has something better for me. I, I truly, truly, truly believe that. I truly believe that the house that I had was not where he wanted me to be. The family that I messed up, that that was totally me. Um, I'm sure the Lord wanted me to stick with that. <laughs> What, I can't change the past, guys, is basically what I'm saying. But the blessings that I missed, I delayed so many blessings because I kept messing up. I kept going back to the world. I kept doing all these worldly things that, you know, the Lord didn't want me to do. And I knew it because, for one, I was doing what the devil wants to do. I was dancing with the devil. You know, I was out partying at the bars. I was out. I was hanging around the wrong friends. Guys, 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 the Lord removes people out of our lives for a reason. Don't go back to them. Especially if they're doing the same stupid stuff that got you in trouble in the first place. Now, if they change, granted, give them a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance. We're supposed to love. We're supposed to forgive. Give that brother or sister another chance. But don't let them take you down that wrong road again because it's just going to lead you out of your blessing that the Lord has for you. It's going to delay that blessing. I'm telling you what, um, I want to touch on a couple of different little things that the Lord has blessed me with. I'm not bragging at all about this situation, but I feel like this was directly God. Um, I was, uh, I was going to do a haircut, actually two haircuts, one canceled. And in my mind, um, I got into my stinking thinking. Thank you, Joyce Meyer. Um, stinking thinking like, man, this dude canceled. I'm just about to cancel the other one and tell him I'll come do it a little later. Guys, that was a blessing that I did not do that. Because not only, not only, friends, did I get there to do the one haircut, but they had a little family get together that allowed me to do six haircuts at one place. That was a blessing. Now, if I would have called and been like, oh man, I'm not even going to make it today. I'm just going to go home and do absolutely nothing. That would have been a missed blessing, guys. And girls, friends, that's that's the thing we need to follow, follow through, and follow the lead of the Lord. He's in our minds. He is speaking to us. He is that still, gentle voice that just keeps coming and saying. And he's like that. I, I said that little devil that was on my shoulder. He's that big, beautiful angel on your shoulder telling you whispering in your ear do this do this your reward is coming your blessing is coming do this obey me listen to me i got you now um with that being said um friends i 